Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So my people, big up to everyone right now on the YouTube channel, I'm a dayer. Because I know, like, I know a lot of people come over TikTok and say, Annie, why you not push your YouTube, you get me? But dear 40, I have concentration on what you do. Because girl, I not lie to you guys. My people, them who support me, I can't tell you this. I'm not good. But I hold on, I try. Yeah, and as soon as I say because nothing beat a try, I can't give up, I can't feel, I have my kids them for live for. Right? So right about now, I beg all of you to the channel here. I beg you if you can share up the video here for my people. I ask them if you can share up the video. I want one time, I've done this. I want to share it. I want it on Instagram. I want it on Pink Wall. You understand what I say? It's going to over TikTok. I want the video to go straight to Portland, my people. You understand what I say? So hear me, I say, people. It's so right about now when I talk, I talk about the deadbeat baby father of them. I talk about the worthless baby father of them. I talk about the baby father of them when I want to mind them pitney. Me I talk about the baby father when time you not give them no front, them no one give you no money for take care of your youth them because them can't lie down with you again. At them the baby father them I talk about. So people right about now, hear me I say too now. Right, I calm myself down and I want to get into it. Because I go talk about Martin, my baby father. And I go talk about him family them will come from Portland. You understand what I say? My mother live up a scheme ill. You hear me I tell you him sister them come from down a bird ill, if I saw, I saw them call it. You understand what I say? Them the people they may talk about. Let me tell you something. You have some man in a life and them family rule them. And them family tell them what to do. Them is like a puppet. You understand what I say? And them the type of man that I talk about, my baby father. Alright, so I could get down to it, people. I have a 17-year-old daughter by the name of Tamika. And I have a 15-year-old son going to 16 by the name of Alex Miller. I have these two kids who have my baby father. You understand what I say? I three kids me have for him. But the other two kids them in a school and I me have them people. All along I me I take care of the pitney them. This man now give me nothing for me pitney them. This man now give me a dollar. When I tell you say not even a thousand dollar Martin who never give me. For take care of him pitney them. Not even that. Not even a hundred dollar Jamaican. And next you turn around and call a woman whore and prostitute and all different type of thing when a mother has to sacrifice herself to make sure that she take care of her child. So people make me calm down and make me know what go on between me and this youth. So you know, so in February, in August, right? Me and this man talk all along on the phone, you know. And I said to him, say, listen to me, you need to take care of your kids then. So in August, I call this man phone, right? And I said to him, say, I ask him if he can give me a money for help me to make up and pay him daughter's school fee because his daughter is 17 years old. And his daughter go go and look at trade. You get me? She go learn a skill. His son is 15 going 16. But his son now have a look at brain so he not learn so normal. So I want to send his son to look at Jamal. So he can go in a local slow learner so he can catch up on himself. Me, me can make him go to mechanic or plumbing. But he still need an education no matter where you take it. Right? So me no go one place down a sentence be where a sentence be a jamal. I call my baby father and I said to my baby father, say, I need some help from you for help you for deal with the kids and for go back to school. You know, the man look for me and tell me, say, people, this blood clot, man, me never want to cuss nobody. Word. This man look for me and tell me, say, when me go down at the school, when the teacher them tell me how much me for call him. Me say to him, say, big man, how me I go call you? How me I go call you upon the appointed day when the pity them supposed to go in a school? Me say, me I tell you right now what the kids them need. So me I ask you if you can't even help me with half of it. I tell him, same daughter, I go do massage. Right? She want to be a masseuse. I say to him, say, listen to me. Right? Give me half of the money. So if the money costs 40000 and masseuse costs over 100000 I say, just give me half of it and me put the rest. I say, your son, I go go to Jamal. And when your son go to Jamal, right? Say, for instance, it's 30000 I said to him, I will put 15000 
tell me the truth if I not try me I try. So upon the whole beginning of talking to this man, right? Hold on. All right, guys. So as we may say, me say to him say help me with half of the school fee for the kids them. You understand what I say? So him kids them can end up have a fair chance in life. You know what the man look for me and tell me say? The man look for me and tell me say the pity the man of him. Father God Jesus Christ, heavenly Father, come down and look for me. When, how comes? Me go say it again too, no, because me have to repeat myself. When me and the man catch up, when me realize that the man no one give me no money for help me back to school for the kids them. I me tell us say all along these these kids are go to school. All along in pity them are go to school. This man no give me a dollar. Why did the man come back around the phone and talk to me and say, want me and him to live good? Say, if you want me and you to live good, Martin Miller, give me money so I can help you. Pity them and call your big old pity them and make them collect the money so your kids them can go back to school fairly. Help your kids them so they can have a fair chance in life. When the man sees me up on him skin and I want the money to help him, kids them to go back to school, the man said, the pity them and not him. The man said the pity the man of him people. And that me I tell you no say. I hear one now, come here go show you the picture of them. So I want to look upon the picture of them. Right? I want to see this man picture and look upon the pity them. Where my talk about. And by the way, I'm not going off a picture alone. Because here when me I come with right now, I tell you say, this now go done. Martin Miller, me want a DNA. I want a DNA since you jump up, since your child turned 17 years old, where you grew up for all these times. And your son now 15 years old. You this want a DNA when time you don't want pay maintenance money. And you don't want to send your pity them got no blood clot school. You want to pity them worthless like blood clot you and don't. You understand what I mean? You not supposed to want to pity them come out just like you. You want you're supposed to want better for your pity them. If you is a good father, you're supposed to want better for your kids them. You understand what I say? This man said the pity them man of him. So here when me I say to you now, to your sister, to your brother, to every one of your generation them, I want a blood clot DNA test. Martin, if it take you a million years to come to Jamaica, yes, to me, me, I see if that the money they feel. Because you go go before the court of law, and me go tell you, say, when they're a big woman, you go stand for them, and me want a DNA from you. You're not going to run from your responsibility and put down the little pity them like that. And you know, me know, say, yes, a wicked blood clad deadbeat baby father. For you know, say, you're going to hurt your pity them, them type of way. Them. For you look on your child and say, you man of fear. The child is not yours. Who you think you're hurt? You think of me you're hurt at the end of the day? You hurt your child, Tamika Miller. Your child was 17 years old, 17 year old look a girl. You look on her and tell her, look on her and say, you are no me. 15 year old son, you look on him and say, man no me. This son where you look on me and tell me, say, you one and only son. No, Martin, talk truth. Talk to God Almighty truth. And look on it now, people. I just over in July, me and you talk on the phone and you take out your Nazi parts. You take out your nasty pelinking, you take out your nasty dick and show me. July. July, me and you depend the phone and you lie down on the bed and talk to me. And me and you talk to each other. And you look at me and tell me, say, you still love me. When me hear you say that, me not lie, me kind of put it over your say in my head. And next you lie down on the bed and take out your, your pelinking, you take out your dick and show me. And you say to me, say, you remember this? You miss this, don't. Me not lie, no, me miss your body, no girl. So oh, when you come on to the money for take care of your kids, them no. Oh, when you come on to the money for take care of your kids, the kids is not yours. Hmm? All the time when you lie down on the bed and take out your dick and show me. You never did know at that time, so the pity them are not for you. When you did the on the bed, I tell me, say, you miss me and you still love me and me and your first baby mother. Didn't you have it in mind for say, oh, you know, so the pity them are not for me? But at one time, I asked you for the money for take care of your kids them. At the time, you said the pity them are not for you. Big man, I said, me and you head on. Me and you head on and me and you look a dirty family. Because here one I used to take care of your sister them. And me used to take care of your blood clad sister and your mama. Before your mama dead and going to the grave. More you remember that and me used to take care of your mother. And me used to take care of your sister. Diane, me I call your name now when you can't can run come soon because more can not go to court. You understand me I say? Diane, remember Diane when you used to come at Ochi and me used to buy here putting on your head. 
Diane, remember when time you used to deal with your brother Martin Miller where come from Portland. Remember say when you come at my yard and me used to buy here put in your head. And me you used to come at my yard and beg my money girl. And me give you money when you go back home. You know, have grocery. You know, have grocery I go back on the yard because me around me shop them time there. So because no now go on then for me as well now I said then. Right? My kids them deserve this part for you know? Eh? Cheryl. Cheryl, Martin brother. Me a call your name, Cheryl. Cheryl, you remember when me go Kingston go shopping? You know, remember when me go Kingston go shopping for all of the picnic them in my house up to feel your picnic me shopping for? Me make sure see your picnic them get school bag. Me make sure see your picnic them get school book. Me make sure see your picnic them get every little thing where them can get for go back to school, Cheryl. Cheryl, when you turn your back on your blood clot nephew and niece them? Cheryl, and me, Tamika, talk to you, Annie. Why you turn your back on your niece and nephew and I tell people say you don't want none of them come at your yard. You don't want Winji come at your yard. You don't want Alex come at your yard. You don't want to tell your brother say, take care of your pitney them. Remember say a whole yard get you. You want water from your local pitney them. You want them same pitney them come give you a bread. Cheryl, you see him brother where they pan phone and talk to me what they show me him nasty dick. One minute, none of them can advise him and tell him if he take care of him, look a picnic. Me and him not in and nothing, but him still having kids them if he take care of Cheryl, remember when you used to come at Ochi and send your pity them come spend holiday with me. If I was a wicked woman, would you send your pity them come spend how much holiday with me? And me end up help take care of your kids them, Cheryl. Cheryl, remember Cheryl. Cheryl to blood clad. Remember no Cheryl when I, you look at me and say to me, say, Tamika, thank you because you do good for me pity them. Cheryl do good for me pitney them now because your brother now mind me pitney them Cheryl Claudette that are the other sister where they are foreign Claudette you is a worthless one on top of it Claudette because you they are foreign and you the Martin the Ush party they can tell me that and the only smart you care about is Martina you understand me the only smart you care about is Martina because guess what? Because Margie and up they grow Martina. So you don't want it look bad now, so you make sure say so you try help Martina. Sh Diane. Eh, Cheryl. Claudette. What about the other rest of pitney them your brother have on and advice on a brother for take care of him pitney them? Me I ask you that as a woman. Eh? Remember one of you used to come and watch your me pop back give your mother Martin. Come on, man, me not rumble. Martin, remember, say, when your mother T40, all of me things them from out of my shop. You look for me and tell me, say, your mother, me forgive her. Oh, God, man, you know, if you have a heart, man. What kind of heart you know, have? You know, brother, no give me a dollar for the pitney them. I know your brother cut off him, pitney them, and say, pitney them, and a him just because he no want to give them nothing. You understand what I say? But if I can sleep with your brother, all the time I try to give me blood clot money. You see a man like who not on body man. Man like who is real top of top of body man. Remember, me tell you know that. Cheryl, remember, me tell you know, say, I tell you that I water the pan. You know. Because right now, Diane, your son in my house. You know. Donovan in my house right now, a Falkland. You know. And I come, Donovan come and link me and beg me if he can stay in my house because he my work down at Ochi. Yeah, so. And you know what, Diane, I don't turn away your pitney. Diane, I don't turn away your pitney, me make your pitney go and go stay in the house up there can you say my work. What kind of mother you no be? What kind of mother you no be? Eh? The one make me did take Winji from up there because you and your mother know say Winji go through a molestation up there and you, Martin, and the sister cover it up. And if you want to talk to me, I'm going to make sure I come out with that part there. I'm going to come out with the wall of it because you're not wicked. I struggle for my own with my pitney them. And that one who no, as a bigger sister can look on your brother and say, listen to me, I slap this yard do. Take care of your pitney. You don't look and say, you don't want to pitney them out in the yard. You don't want none of them up there. You understand what I say Because you know say you rather not take care of the pitney them. Hmm? I say, I left one to God, you know. People may beg one for blood clot, share this. To Martin Miller of Portland, his mother dead, his mother near Margie London. Margarine London, I don't stop calling on him, boy, you're wicked, and I got caught. You say, Winji and Ophi and Alex and Ophi, that would tear out a child heart. Night and top of night, Winji cry.
When you cry night on top of night, Martin, when you say she enough for you. When you cry night on top of night, when you say this little girl is not yours. But you what me do as a mother. You what me do. Let me calm down. You what me do. You what me do. That's why God give me the power and the strength and the vigor in me. Let me take up that phone here. God give me the power and the strength. You what me do, Martin. Winji, I got I go school Monday. Winji, I do masseuse on my pay feet. The worthless woman where you say about me. The same woman where you say sell out her pussy. The same dirty woman where you know nobody. When you go to school Monday. Alex, I go to Jamal. Monday. You understand me? And I'm me a pay feet. I'm me a video them and you go see them on the media. You go see your picture them stepping. I got alone. I bless me. I got alone, my basket not empty. And you turn your back for your child and say your child and not feel. And your whole family do the same thing to your own child. Them. Martin, my mommy tell us that this day will never, you will never go away and punish by your child, them, Martin. Me help your mother. Me help you. I mean, I first girl give you a passport. More you remember that day, you are me, me, Annie. Make you get a passport. When you work at Waston, remember, I mean, I first girl make you have a roof over your head. And me make you get a passport so you could have traveled go foreign. Where you talk about, bro? Eh? Because you feel like you reach where you go now. You dash with the stick. I don't remember your kids. I don't want to know you. What about the kids, them? What about your kids? Who no be yo? You see all them money at Jamaica. You have some deadbeat, dirty baby father. You know, me I tell you, you know. You have some deadbeat, dirty baby father. Me I tell you, you know. Martin, you is a deadbeat, blood clot baby father. You is a worthless blood clot baby father. Kedin alone can't sit down with you. Because Kedin a worthless girl. Kedin a worthless girl. Do you hear me? I tell you, I mean, I this Kedin Pitney. I mean, make sure I go all back because I could have said something about that one day too. I Kedin alone would have sit down with a worthless man like you. I want the head up on my phone and look me and come in and want your brother because I would never be back with you. But remember where I come from. Remember when time me did have it and things are going for me and your whole of your family pack up in my house. Remember. Every holiday, all of your family them pack up and then in my place and who did not look after them? Who did not give them money? Who did not make sure say everybody good? Me, Annie. Say, turn your back on your own child. Me not donate with you, you know. Me not donate. Me not donate. Me this began, Martin Miller. Me go make sure say, me put up a picture. Because I'm not done till me and you reach in a courthouse. Me and you are do a DNA. I may not run from it. I am not going anywhere. Me want a DNA. I know you. I want a DNA test. Me want a DNA test and I want it live and direct. Me pay for it. Me save the money. Me beg judge for give me. Me beg your honor for help me. Me need a help. Me need a push. Right now, see me pin them there. I don't think you got the permit to send me to pity them to school. I want to try. I don't want to see you try that. Because I feel like I'm a worthless girl, don't. I sell my soul for me to pity them. I sell my soul for me to kiss them and God now make me sell my soul. God knows the type of soul I have. I do anything for me to kiss them. But you go tell me so when you pick the rich age of 17 year old at that time, you tell the little girl that she has no fear. fear. Just because you don't want to help her to learn a skill. So you want your little daughter to come sell pussy. You want your little daughter to be worthless. You want your little daughter to butt up in the inner world. You understand me? I say no come out to nothing. Your son need help. And you go say the little boy is not fear. You say the boy is only your one and only son. And that you see out of your mouth, you know. 
and you turn your back on this boy, not even a shoes or a pants, you don't buy the look of boy. People may beg you if you can share that video because I go back for part two of the video. May I go back for part two of that video here. May I beg you share the video for me.